Hello, dear partners, dear friends. We are truly thankful for all of your questions, support, prayers. You know the news. On the 24th of February, Russia attacked Ukraine and declared a war, even though they still don't uh, uh, acknowledge that in full. Uh, because of that, we had to, as a center success in Ternopil, we are safe uh, uh, at this point, but we are um, doing everything we can to receive as many refugees as we can. Uh, there are many people that are coming from east, from Kiev, from uh, regions that were under military zones uh, earlier, but now we are receiving them all here. Uh, some of them go path by, but some of them stay. Uh, so we decided as a team of the Success Center Ternopil, we decided that we want to uh, help as much as we can. For that reason, we decided to remodel um, all of our premises to um, uh, receive as many refugees as we can. At this point, we can receive up to 35 refugees. Let me show you where they are. So as you can see, uh, we have uh, mattresses and uh, we made soft beds for people to lay down. So um, uh, some will have sleeping bags, some will have blankets and pillows. It depends on, uh, uh, on how many people we'll have, but as we already told, it's up to 35 people. If we need it, we can remodule it and make it bigger for up to 50 people. So that, this is one class out of three. Let me show you two others. We're truly honored and we're truly thankful to all of the parents and all of the people who helped uh, bringing sheets, bringing towels, bringing everything we need. Also, some people brought food, uh, so we have enough for uh, this night to receive as many refugees as we can. Uh, some of the parents that helped, they are from our center. Uh, their kids coming to our center, so they're trying to participate as much as they can. This is another class, uh, and here we have some more beds for families for people to stay. This is a warm floor, so it will be warm and nice and cozy uh, for people to stay at this point. Uh, so I would like from Center Success, thank you all for your prayers, for your support. Please continue to pray for us, continue to pray for this war to be over with, uh, and pray for all of those people that we're serving, that their hearts uh, would be warmed by the love of Christ. Thank you. God bless you. We'll keep in touch.